हेलो एंड वेलकम टू माय चैनल माय नेम इज दीपाक्षी एंड आई क्रिएट डी ए बाई वीडियोज रिलेटेड फैशन ज्वेलरी एक्सरसाइज एंड समटाइम्स कार्टून बट टुडे इन दिस वीडियो आई वांट टू टेक यू ऑन अ टूर टू इंडिया आर्ट फेस्टिवल 2022 व्हिच हेल्ड इन न्यू दिल्ली बिटवीन 7 टू 10th अप्रैल इन कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन क्लब ऑफ इंडिया इन दिस टूर आई विल शो यू डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ आर्ट फॉर्म्स इन बोथ ट्रेडिशनल एंड मॉडर्न आर्ट not only this i have talked to few artists and tried to gain knowledge about their beautiful artworks only for you so without wasting much time let's just go and start this video i would like to start my tour with these beautiful paper quilling artworks initially i was just stunned with the way artists made these really beautiful miniature models of god and goddesses and monuments and you know what was the best part they even provide free of cost online classes for paper quilling for beginners isn't that great Moving on to other art forms, I noticed that many stalls have some really amazing statues and every statue has a story to tell. As you can see in this statue man is riding a bicycle and a small little girl is sitting behind him having a big lunch box with her holding a man's shirt which is really very beautiful On this other statue you can see two kids are running shirtless while holding their shirts in their hands which clearly symbolizes about carefree childhood days when these small little happiness means a lot to us In this other statue you can see a man is holding a book reading stories for three other children who are sitting next to him on a chair by and listening to a story with a very keen interest it reminds us of a time of summer vacation when 90s kids used to visit their grandparents house and they shower them with all the love in this world on the other side if you see this statue you can see that four men are sitting together and playing cards which usually happens in indian villages moving forward i tried to talk to some artists to know how they made their great statue using electronic waste please listen to their thoughts jaise phone ke andar ka plate hota hai na motherboard jaise wo hai tv ka tab ic ka plate hoti hai wo sab laga hua hai isme सब उसी से बना क्या मटेरियल आपने यूज किया है इसको बाइंड करने के लिए ये सब इसमें थोड़ा सा पीतल जैसे पीतल पीतल तो मेटल है उसको मेल्ट करके इसके साथ मिक्स किया है ओके थैंक यू
Moving ahead, I have seen so many art stalls having the great traditional artwork which promotes Indian folk art. As you can see in these artwork, culture and festivals of South India has been shown. In this next stall, I met this wonderful woman having ceramic artwork from Gujarat. She explained me in detail how this complete artwork has been made, price of these beautiful pieces and so much more about it. Please listen to her experience. This is now the artwork with the ceramic. Okay, so in ceramic, we just have to paste out on it and then we do it to the points. And how much 3D effect is about to do? We make layers after layers. Like this one, we add four layers. For this, we have six layers like that. We make. Once it dries it, then the coloring part is done. And once it is done, finally, then we do the varnish. How much time it takes to make a one painting? This one will be formed in nine months. And what is the cost of this? This was 3 lakhs. Worth it. Totally worth it. Tanjol painting is another famous Indian folk art celebrated in Tamil Nadu. Mostly, Tanjol paintings are about Indian gods and goddesses made by using authentic natural colors and gold foil. The paintings that grabbed my attention was their big circular artwork, in which artist has shown Lord Shiva and Parvati in center and their son Lord Ganesha with different poses around them.
Now let me take you to another beautiful clay molding artwork made by this really great woman and the best part was that she loved to talk about it. Please listen to her thoughts and process of making this beautiful piece of art using gold colors and gold foil. Now it's time to experience some beautiful picture art from Rajasthan. As you can see in these picture paintings, artist has shown different stories of Lord Krishna in different stages of his life. In this cherry and scroll painting, you can see a painting showing a Lord Krishna palace and different styles in blocks in a form of storytelling.
Moving ahead, I saw this mesmerizing artwork depicting three stories in one painting, which made me curious to know more about idea behind this artwork and its process. Hi, so um, this is uh, the artwork that's created by my father. Uh, the entire concept of kinetic art uh, in India, where uh, you know we collaborate with different artists to recreate their original pieces. The way we see composed uh, in our artwork is uh, conceptualized by my father. The process is also painted in as we know. Try to do is have one artwork from one side, another artwork from the other. But the story is what lies in the center. So if you step back and you see the artwork from the center, you will see the lady's head resting on the guy's shoulder. That's something that you're seeing but doesn't really exist. It's what's emerging out of the two artworks from the left and the right. So that's our story. And then you have the Shrinanti here with the Kamal. And then you see from the center, you will see the Tandi, Shriji. So, my next stop was leather pocket art of Andhra Pradesh. But artist made a little twist in the artwork by instead of making puppets, she made a painting of those puppets, which was a really smart idea. But the painting which made me stop and think was this Nandi painting with broken Veena strings. So I thought I should ask artists about the idea behind making this painting with the broken strings, which she explained me in a really beautiful way. Please listen to her thoughts. Uh, the painting is called as Simran Samadhi. Yes, I started by drawing the Nandi and the doors. And uh, after uh, painting these two objects, uh, I was uh, just contemplating that what is the Nandi doing there? Outside, sitting uh, outside the door when his lord is inside. So after a few months, I realized that a state of meditation, uh, we can hear actually the Anahat sound. Not hear as in hear by the ears, but actually experience the Anah sound. And uh, then I started painting this Veena, which is the Rudra Veena. It's a very uh, unique and antique instrument, which is played by very few people uh, now in India also. And then the bells and the And I have broken the strings of the Veena just to uh, symbolically indicate the Anah uh, the Nar. Uh, then I have drawn small. Uh, the village on this side just to balance the uh, painting from an artist's point of view uh, where I have drawn small figurines indicating the world and uh, finally to so to say that uh, he is in the world but the world is not in him.
Now it's time to shift from traditional Indian art to contemporary art. Firstly, I was introduced to these beautiful acrylic paintings. The way these paintings were made inspired me how our daily life movement can turn up into a really great and beautiful artwork. And now it's time to talk about some really wonderful watercolor painting. As you can see, the main focus of these paintings are different types of flowers, which clearly shows the domination of colors and flowers, which brings positivity in human life. Moving ahead, I met this beautiful pop expression artist. I loved the way she used primary colors to bring these paintings to life. But here I was stuck with the painting which caught my attention. So I asked her about her views while making this painting. Please listen to her thoughts. Hi, I'm Zimbu and I'm a Delhi based artist in the art circuit for the last 10 to 15 years. I made my professional survey. I'd like to tell you about some of the artworks on display here today. Uh, my style is a uh, pop expressionist, a vibrant uh, use of colors. Uh, this one, uh, a Kashmiri Midsummer Day's Dream, is one of my favorites. And it's working in style and trying to capture the elements of Kashmiri culture. You can see the samovar and Kashmiri roti in the dal lake in the background. And the lady is enjoying Kashmiri hospitality. The spouse and the roses are separating. Uh, you know, artistically, it's a separation between the outside, the body outside, and the home inside. And what I'm trying to depict is uh, 
Now it's time to take you towards some crystal clear artwork. As you can see, this fascinating artwork was made by creating a blend of crystals and fluid art to show different stories from artist's point of view. After experiencing these great crystal artwork, I saw these paintings which looked like glass paintings but actually it wasn't. So to solve this mystery behind this artwork, I talked to its creator. Please listen to their thoughts and the process while they make this painting. I am the creator of this artwork. The base of this art is acrylic sheet. And the medium I have used is epoxy laser. So it is a three step process. You need to first design your artwork. Then you need to cut uh, your base as per design and the shape of the mosaic you make. Part of the mosaic. And then you need to fill that particular uh, mosaic or part of thing with liquid design of that particular color. So this entire artwork is then the repeated process. I never thought that mix and match of different art materials can lead to something this beautiful. But to know more about this process and the idea behind these paintings, I thought it would be better if I talk to the artists about it. Please listen to their idea and thoughts while creating these paintings. What was your idea behind making these paintings? And uh, it's the daily life uh, inspired me. Uh, the way of seeing the, the, the environment and the way you take around, which you make us come back. So, how did you get the idea that you have to do charcoal and paste? I have to experiment with it. I have to use charcoal and paste. 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 आगे चलता है तो ऑयल पेस्टल यूज़ करके आएगा उसमें प्रिंट मेकिंग की इंक यूज़ की ये इंक है प्रिंट मेकिंग की ओके ये लिथोग्राफी है काफी सारे मीडियम के साथ खेला ऑयल में ये काम किया है काफी सारे थैंक यू जस्ट ट्राइ
I believe that every artist has story to tell and thoughts to share. But when I saw these eclectic paintings with different perspective which is more driven towards women, I was in love with the artist's perspective. But one painting that surprised me was the one with a girl having wings as crown. To know more about idea behind this painting, I talked to the artist. Please listen to her thoughts. I am uh, Ritika Roka and I am from uh, Lahore. I am a Punjab, an artist based in Punjab. And uh, the theme for my uh, work is that I want to inspire people to take a plunge into their destiny and you know live their life to the fullest, go after their dreams. In this painting, particularly, she's wearing uh, her crown like uh, her wings like her crown, and then she's diving into her destiny. And you know, she, uh, having all the odds in her mind, but still she's ready to step in because here the flower signifies growth, and she's ready to do the work and put in all the hard work. Yeah. Thank. Now it's time to witness some textured artwork. Here artists use texture on canvas then create a painting on it to give realistic effect to the artwork. Let me take you to the artist to know more about her thoughts while making these paintings. Myself emotionally because I love color so I like to do colorful things. Okay. And I like <laughs>
Vintage means of transport always have that classy and elegant look to it. In these paintings, as you can see, artists here try to bring those elegance to the paintings by showing different means of vintage transports in his paintings. These combination of different horse paintings with charcoal walls really impressive. In this stall, I have visited not just some of the really great horse paintings but also acleric paintings and I was really mesmerized by watching all of these artworks.
In this art stall, I noticed that artist was more driven towards small movements in life and children, which I can clearly see in his artwork, where I can see paintings of smiling children, which symbolizes purest form of love. One thing that I have noticed in this art festival was that mostly artists focused on Banaras ke Khat and presented painting related to that. But at this stall, along with those Banaras paintings, I have noticed one special painting of Mumbai BT station and it was really different from usual Mumbai paintings. So I asked artists about their thoughts while making these paintings. Please listen to their ideas.
this was a very brilliant idea to make artwork with crystals and stapler pens to give it a 3D look. That's what I like about this art stall. These miniature terracotta replicas were so beautiful and tells the story of tribal India in a really beautiful way. Please have a look at them. After these thoughtful artwork, let me take you to the artist and let's know more about their thoughts behind making this fluid art tulip series. I'm based out of Delhi and I call this the tulip series. I have done this with a pasta and a palette knife to create the textures over here. I have a set of four.
These fluid artwork surely going to make your day and inspire you to create your own fluid art today. This metal tree statue made up of horns and a ghunguru shows that every sound has its own impact on human life. Sometimes to alert them or sometimes to celebrate.
At first, I didn't realize that these portraits are made up of pencil. It looks so real that you won't believe that they are real pencil-made portraits. With this, my tour to India Art Festival 2022 comes to an end and I am hoping you also have enjoyed this journey with me as much as I did while exploring different art forms and exhibitions. So for more art related content, do watch my other videos and do subscribe to my channel for more creative updates. Do share this video with your friends and family members and don't forget to tell us about your experience in the comment section below. We'll see you next time. Till then, Tata Bye. See you. Have a nice day.